Alright, what is going on everybody? Kraku here, and today I have a quick little update video, kind of about this um, double AND gate system I have here. And this is the first time I've ever used comparators like this to create AND gates, so I realized that I did this in not the most efficient way. So, especially if you're trying to do something like this in a survival world, conserving resources is very important. So, um, this is going to cut it down, make it a little bit more compact, and save a little uh, bit of resources. And so what I realized is the way a comparator works is it takes signals from the sides, right? And if those signals, the strength of those signals is equal to or stronger than the signal coming in from the back, no signal will get output. So what that means is if we just break these and we take the second line, if we just take that directly into the first comparator, this is going to have the same effect. And then we can just bring the output out because what that means is even if this one is off, the signal from this side is still as strong as the signal coming in from the back, which means no signal is going to be cut out. The only way that a signal is going to come through here is if this one is on, so there's actually a signal hitting the back, and both of these are off, so the signal from the sides is weaker. Okay, so just to show you that that works, we'll click the first one, the door stays closed, click this one, door stays uh, closed. Then we come back and click the third one, and the door opens. So, the way a comparator works, I figured since this was just going to be such a short episode, I would also take this, the time to explain how a comparator works. So essentially, a comparator takes the sum of the signal strengths from its side, and it compares them, that's why it's called a comparator, to the signal strength from the back. Now, if the signal strength from the sides is as strong as or stronger than the signal from the back then no uh, no output will come out and then if the signal from the back is stronger than the signal from the sides then the uh, strength of the output is going to be the difference in the strengths so what I mean by that I'll start by explaining something really important about redstone This music seems kind of echoey, like there's two songs overlaid on each other, it's weird. Um, I'm, just gonna, I'm honestly just going to turn the volume off right now, that's weird. So if you have a redstone line, I'll just bring this out a bit. If we turn the signal on so there's a strength, you can see how bright red it is at the front, and how it gets darker and darker, and if we bring it out, then eventually it becomes black and there aren't these particles coming off of it. And what that means, if we bring a repeater here, a repeater here, here there's still a signal, here there's not. So as you probably know, redstone has a finite signal length. Uh, I think it's 16. And, but the important thing about this is, and until the comparator came out, this wasn't something that was really important, is this is considered a stronger signal than this. It's not just binary in the sense that it's on, 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 on until it goes off. It's on and the strength decreases, decreases until it goes off. So it goes from full strength to zero. And what that means is, go ahead and toss, break this up, and then I'll toss down a comparator to kind of show you how it uses that, that system. So if you have a comparator, if you don't click it on, if this light is off, it's just going to act as a repeater, which means you have a signal coming through, it brings the power out. Even if there's signal coming in from the side, this doesn't affect it at all, okay? So this off means it's just going to act as a repeater. This on means it's going to act as a comparator. So what that means, I'll kind of show you, if we bring this line out so it's a little bit weaker, we place a comparator and click it on, well then, let's say we take a repeater here. Uh, let's say we take a lever here, actually, and we have this strength. Well, when we turn this on, this strength, since it's closer, it's going to be a little bit stronger than this one. What that means, the comparator takes the difference of the back input minus the side input, the strengths. And if that difference is less than or equal to zero, which means if the side strength is the same strength as the back or stronger than the back, no input comes out, okay? Now, let's say we were to switch these. Let's say we take this one out four and we only take that one out two. So this one, as you can see, go ahead and turn this one on first. 
this one is going to be a weaker strength than this one. Which means when you turn this one out, when you turn this one on, there is going to be a signal coming out. But what you notice, if you just put a repeater right here with some output, if you just turn the repeater on, you can see this signal is a lot stronger than this signal. And that's because of the idea of the difference, the comparing. So it takes the back signal minus the side signal, which means this comparator, since the difference is only two, it's not going to extend out 16. It's only going to extend out two spaces. All right. So if you want a strength to get carried a certain distance, depending on how um, how strong the relative currents are, that's what the comparator is used for. And so that's the way the AND gate works, is we're making that side strength. Um, oh, and as, as you probably already know, uh, this idea of strength, it's getting lower, gets lower, 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 lower. You throw in a repeater, and it resets the strength back to max. And so what we're doing by adding repeaters directly into all of the comparators, just replace these blocks, by adding repeaters into all of the comparators, we're making sure that the side signals are equaling the back signal. And so that's the reason we need to have all three of these uh, switches flipped in order for it to open. Because if either one of these is on, either one of these is on, then if the other one's off, then this side signal is going to equal the back signal, which means we're going to get zero output. All right, so uh, that's why, go ahead and reset this. That's how the AND gate kind of works, and that's how a comparator works. So again, if anybody has any questions about that, go ahead and feel free to contact me, leave a comment, and I can go into more detail about anything you have questions with. Um, but until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.